everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is alexis i am a 21 year old mom of two who is currently pregnant with her third today's video is going to be a pregnancy update i think i am 17 weeks as of today and i have not done any pregnancy update this whole pregnancy I have a huge list on my phone of every week and all the symptoms that I've been going through. I'm going to start making these videos weekly. So after today's video, it's just going to be like one week of symptoms or how I'm feeling. But for today, it's going to be from the time I found out until today. So if you are interested in seeing that, just keep watching. So I found out I was pregnant July 11th of 2019, because we're in 2019. My due date is March 17th of 2020. I was six weeks when I found out and I was having morning sickness. I also had light bleeding, which I've never experienced with any pregnancy that I've had. Um, some cramping, which was kind of normal to me because when you do first get pregnant, obviously things are growing inside of you, so you do get cramping. I was extremely irritable. Um, I felt very guilty, like the mom guilt for having another child. Paranoia, like I don't know why, but every time I get pregnant, I get really paranoid about... Like I'm already a paranoid person, but when I get pregnant, it's like times 10. <laughs> And then I was extremely, extremely lazy, just wanted to lay in bed, and I had absolutely no appetite because I was throwing up all the time. And then at seven weeks, my morning sickness got worse. And it wasn't like all, like it wasn't just in the morning, it was like all day sickness. Um, I found out that I had cysts on my ovaries that could have been bursting, causing the bleeding and pain. I was able to eat late at night around 10 and 11 o'clock. Extremely, extremely exhausted. Week eight, morning sickness, cramps, still um, very bad mood swings, uh, extreme bleeding. I found out at eight weeks that I had a subchorionic hematoma. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. But. <laughs> <laughs> basically um, my placenta had a tear in it and uh, I had a pretty bad blood clot and that was where all the bleeding was coming from it wasn't from any cysts on my ovaries it was just simply a weird thing with my pregnancy so that happened and that was very very scary then at nine weeks, the morning sickness got worse, which at this point in time, I kind of was happy when I was getting sick because I knew that my baby was growing inside me because if you know anything about pregnancy, the morning sickness and the like just puking and the nausea is not from anything you eat. It is simply from the hormones in your body and your body not being able to control these hormones or handle these hormones. My mental health was getting really, really bad because of the morning sickness. Um, I'm the type of person when my belly hurts, everything else is just no bueno. Like, I can't deal with life. At 10 weeks, I had my first ultrasound and we found out that the baby was doing pretty, pretty good. At 11 weeks, we found out the gender because of the issues I was having. I had some blood work done to make sure there was no other issues and also was able to find out the gender. Um, if you haven't seen my gender reveal video, I'll leave it linked down below. It's very, very cute. You should go check it out. At 11 weeks, I'm already on 11 weeks. Also, the heart rate was 156. I started getting morning sickness again after not having it for about a week. Um, extremely tired, found out that the blood clot was basically gone and that the baby was doing really, really well. At 12 and 13 weeks, some morning sickness, very exhausted. My belly, I feel like, was finally showing more like a pregnancy belly, not like I was just gaining weight. 14 weeks, morning sickness, had returned for like full on. 
my eczema was getting really, really bad. My eczema is still really bad. Um, I think I'm having the worst eczema breakout that I've had in a really, really long time. Um, and then I started feeling some movements, actually. And then at 15 and 16 weeks, I haven't really been getting sick, so that's good. I've been craving more foods, and it's basically like the only time I get sick is if I haven't eaten. And my eczema is still really, really bad. I am getting really bad acne as well, which is kind of frustrating because why do I have dry skin but also greasy skin? I don't understand. I don't understand. But yeah, so we're at 17 weeks today, I think, maybe 18 weeks. I have an appointment later on today, so I'm going to bring you guys along with my appointment. If you guys would like to see that, I don't know if I'm having an ultrasound or not because of all the things going on with the pregnancy. I don't know if I'm getting ultrasounds every time I go to the doctors or if they're just gonna see his his heart rate. Um, but yeah, so it's been a rough couple of months for sure. My mental health has been really all over the place just because of everything that's going on, plus a new pregnancy and the hormones that are pumping through my body. Um, I'm very stressed about a lot of things, but we are surviving and we are going to get through it because that's what we do. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this portion of the video. If you guys would like to see the appointment, just keep on watching and I will show you guys a little belly clip, maybe though. This is my belly with a shirt on, and then my belly with a shirt off. There's a little bump, not much. Yeah, beans. Is that your baby brother? Doctor? Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I would love for you guys to become a part of my YouTube family. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just leave them down below. I appreciate when you guys reach out to me. It lets me know that you guys actually care about what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. and. Stay weird, my fellow aliens.